The word intention, usually when we use this word, it has sort of a connotation meaning uh, nobody's going to get in the way. I intend for something to happen. I'm going to make this work no matter what. Regardless of whatever opposition I encounter, I intend to make it happen. It's like being a pit bull who's got a hold of a tire. Have you ever seen that? Uh, and they're just not going to let go. I'm going to have this pit bull attitude that I'm going to make something happen. That's what intention is. I'd like to offer here to you something that uh, may change the way you uh, look at things completely in terms of this uh, idea of intention. Rather than thinking of intention as something that uh, you are going to do, because the implication behind that is that this is the ego. This is the ego at work and the part of me that says, I am going to make it happen. I've come to a place in my life now at the age of 63 where I finally realized that uh, I don't write the books, that there's an energy that is working through me, whether you call it source or God or spirit, uh, it doesn't make any difference what you call it. But this energy that is working uh, builds all the bridges and writes all the books and delivers all the speeches. When I was standing back there waiting for the uh, introduction to come out and to begin this program, the words were running through my mind from something I read years ago in A Course in Miracles. It said, if you knew who walked beside you at all times on this path that you have chosen, you could never experience fear or doubt again. If you had this knowing that there was a source, that there was something that was available to you that is responsible for all of it. And in the writing of this uh, book on a specific day, happened to have been Pearl Harbor Day, December the 7th. And um, I sat down and I put my left hand on the table and I just surrendered and I let go and I allowed the words to flow through my heart and onto the page. And I don't write with a computer. I don't have one, can't afford it. <laughs> and uh, I don't have uh, you know, all of the fancy kinds of, I don't even have a typewriter. Um, I just allow the words to come through me onto the page. And as I was sitting there and uh, allowing this to happen, I began to realize that uh, there was something greater going on here. And as the days went by and as I wrote each day, getting up early in the morning, and, uh, and I've, I did this years and years ago when I first started speaking. Um, I used to speak with notes and have everything all very carefully written out and so on. And there came a time when I could no longer do that. Um, I just had to speak from my heart, which is exactly what I'm doing here with you today in this program. And when you surrender to this, when you begin to allow this force in the universe to work through you, you begin to realize that everything that shows up here in this world uh, shows up from a, a source, from a place, from, a, from an energy, from a field, whatever you want to call it, and that we and these these sort of piddly little egos of ours that believe that we're so important and whether I get it done right or whether I don't or whether I get it done on time or whether he does it or she does it or whatever, all of these details become uh, almost something that uh, occupy too much of the, uh, of the energy of our lives. And when you learn to surrender and to let go and to realize that intention isn't necessarily something that I do, but something that I connect to. And I'd like to share with you here at the opening a person who's been a very powerful and important influence in my life. His name was uh, Carlos Castaneda. Now, Castaneda is considered by many to be uh, a metaphysician, if you will, an anthropologist who got into the world of, uh, of higher consciousness through what we call like spiritual uh, literature and so on. And Castaneda, he spoke about intention not as something that we do, but as something that we connect to. I included this particular observation of Castaneda's because it was this particular quote that um, really inspired me to be here with you today. And as like everything else in my life, I almost feel as if I'm no longer the one in charge. And here's what the quote says. In the universe, there is an unmeasurable, indescribable force which those who live of the source in quotes of the source and of the source means sorcerer 
Now, not sorcerer in the word, uh, when we think of sorcerer, we think of witches and incantations and uh, all kinds of hocus pocus and so on. That's not what the word sorcerer means. It means of the source, those who live of the source. In the universe, there is an unmeasurable and indescribable force, which those who live of the source call intention. And that absolutely everything that exists in the entire cosmos is attached to intent by a connecting link. And then he goes on to say, sorcerers are not only concerned with understanding and explaining that connecting link, but they are especially concerned with cleansing it of the numbing effects brought about by all of the concerns of living at ordinary levels of consciousness. Very important and powerful words to consider. Think of it like this, that everything in this universe was intended here, including you, including every mosquito and every palm tree and every avocado and all of the Rocky Mountains and the oceans, that everything that shows up in the material world emanates from a source. And this source can be thought of as that which intends things into the material world. And the question here today isn't whether or not you are going to be connected to it because you couldn't be, you couldn't be listening to this program. You couldn't be processing what I'm saying here if you weren't connected to this field. This field beats your heart. This field of energy grows your fingernails and grows everybody else's fingernails. I used to say it, uh, it grows your hair, but I've become a little suspicious <laughs> of that, you know. Now this is one observation. Intention isn't about whether you're going to connect to it. You're already connected to it. The question is, how rusty, how corroded, how dirty is the link between you and this field of intention? And sorcerers are those who are concerned with cleansing this connecting link so that you become more and more in rapport with or in harmony with this field of intention. And the more you're in harmony with this field of intention, the more you are able to do all that this field of intention is able to do. You are able to create miracles. You are able to heal yourself. You are able to attract into your life the abundance that has been missing. You are able to find the right people and have them show up exactly on time. Because that's how the universal source from which all things and all people originated, that's how it works.